Hi, this is O.C. Farrell. Just trying to get back in touch with you to let you know that we feel that this semester's uh, ethics, business ethics certificate class is going just great. And you're providing very deep and rich comments uh, relating to the questions that we're posing to the class. And this past week, uh, we really enjoyed uh, reading week two, looking at the uh, responsibility of CEOs and the role that CEOs play within a corporation. And one of the things about discussing this in class is that uh, a lot of students can't imagine what it's like to be a CEO, or they certainly can't visualize that one day they'll be a CEO. But I think it's interesting to discuss this with them because everyone within any organization uh, is always talking about leadership from the top. And I think your conclusions were really on target. And that is ethics starts with leadership from the top. And the reason that occurs is because uh, there's so much authority and uh, responsibility at the top, but that authority to delegate to various uh, middle managers, uh, the tone is set uh, through a role model at the top and through the values that are not just put on a piece of paper, but the values that are exhibited in everyday behavior. Uh, I think most of you uh, do hold uh, CEOs and top management responsible for the ethics of the organization. And some good examples were given that when something goes wrong, like BP or in the case of Enron, there are victims. And in our society, we really do need someone to point our finger at. And there is someone held responsible for what went wrong. In the case of BP, a little bit different than in the case of Enron. Uh, we saw a situation where uh, it's possible the internal controls and the monitoring systems at the top did not take past safety violations uh, into account as being extremely serious and potentially uh, a threat or a, to the organization's survival. And I'm sure in the future at BP that safety will be elevated to a much higher level and if there's another company like Enron, after hopefully seeing what happened at Enron and AIG and Bear Stearns and Lehman Brothers, that hopefully financial companies are recognizing that they do have to uh, manage their risk. They must look at the impact on various stakeholders. And they also need to be on top of what's happening in their organization. And I think all of you held the CEOs accountable they need, if they can't do it themselves, if they have 30,000 employees or 40,000 employees, they have to make sure there are systems and communication systems and reporting systems where they, at least they know what's going on in the organization. And everyone at every level is held responsible. Well, we're looking forward to next week and week three, which you probably already started on by the time you hear this message, uh, looking at the ethical decision-making model, uh, looking at how people make decisions in an organizational context. Uh, when I speak, usually people are saying, well, uh, it's the individual that's most important. Individual values drive everything that happened in the organization. But we have a message that you also have to consider not only leadership from the top, but the organizational culture that develops. And lots of empirical research that's been done uh, we find that very often people like to go along with their peers and superiors. People like to be uh, liked by others, and therefore they have a tendency to not speak up when they see things that they don't agree with, and especially if they don't agree with something from uh, someone who is their boss or their superior, and therefore uh, we find that peers and coworkers are a strong determinant of how people act in an organization. Uh, their ethics in their home and family might be quite different uh, where they have absolute control over what they do, but it's hard to control everything around you in the social networks that exist in an organization. We'll be looking forward to your comments next week. And in closing, I can say that all of you are doing an incredible job of responding and communicating uh, through our uh, website Please let us know if there are any issues that you, that you are concerned about in terms of uh, maximizing the value that you get out of this program.
contact us at any time, and we'll hopefully be back and talk to you again soon.